Four and a half billion dollars. You're not responsible for all of that. Uh, was it worth it? Well, four and a half billion is a big number, but in terms of nuclear plant, that's a fairly cheap plant. You know, the other ones that are being built will be seven billion, and so it'll be a very effective asset for us. It'll power 700,000 homes, carbon free, at a cost that's below our embedded cost of electricity today. So yes, it's worth it. Should we rethink nuclear in America now that this country has access? He just dropped so four and a half billion bucks. Much... Think we should rethink it. No, no, no. For the future. I'm not suggesting we turn this thing on and then shut it down right away. I'm talking about new capacity. America is still a growing country. It's going to need more power. Now that we have access to all this cheap gas from fracking, should we build any more nuclear plants? I think we need to build nuclear plants. Um, you know, today in the country, 19% of our power comes from nuclear. Mm -hmm. It's the cheapest, the most reliable. And by 2050, all those plants are going to be retired. It's cheap before you factor in the cost of storage. But these are 60 storage, year waste, waste storage. Uh, waste storage is uh, more of a political problem than a technical one. We know how to do this. They do it around the world using American technology. So I really don't think that's a big issue. and certainly not a big uh, economic issue. And how is it more of a political issue? The environment? Uh, yes. Where are you going to put it? All the things with Yucca Mountain and Nevada. Those are really political issues, not technical issues. So from your perspective, what's more dangerous, storing nuclear waste or fracking in the Marcellus Shale? I think they're both safe. You know, the EPA came out yesterday with a mm -hmm. report that fracking is generally safe if done right. Uh, we have had no issues in this country with the storage of spent nuclear fuel. I think they're both safe if they're done right. Well, when will you be fully operational? I hope by the end of the year. It's been a while. Eric said 1973 we started this. We've really worked on it in earnest for the last four years, so I would expect at the end of the year. Why the jobs? The Sorry, I just on start updates, then we'll get to the jobs. Why does the start update keep getting pushed back? Well, we started it. The first oil embargo happened. Actually, I would think I was in high school when it started. Um, the no, I mean recently. Oh. Like it was, you know, it was supposed yeah. to be this month, in fact, wasn't it? No, the, actually the range was somewhere between June of this year and June of next year. So we will be, we like to give ourselves a little room here. We like to be, we'll be about halfway in the range. And December would be a great Christmas present for us. How many jobs have you created, people you employ? So we're actually employing less people today. We'll add people at that plant, but our business is shrinking. And so we've been employing less. But part of our job at TVA is to make jobs in the region. And if you look at last year and this year, we'll have made about 125,000 jobs and maybe 15 billion in capital investment, all driven by a very low electric rate. I know we have no time left. Just what's your view on the U.S. economy, given your position? Well, I saw your uh, job projections. I think you're a little bullish. I think there's still a lack of consumer confidence. I'm not going to follow your uh, bet on the upcoming horse race. I think it's sluggish, it's rough, very hard to predict. There you go. Bill, great seeing you. Good to see you. First Friday in June, no better day to talk nuclear energy. Bill Johnson, he's the CEO of the Tennessee Valley Authority.